Hi, everybody. Hi, friends. Hello. My name is Mr. Ronnie, and I am the Associate Director of Guest Services at Port Discovery right here in Baltimore. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited to be here with you. So welcome, friends. Do you want to hear a story? It's a true story, and I'm really excited to share it with you. It's a story that's really, really personal to me, and that's why I'm really excited to be with you here today and share you a wonderful story. So, if you wanna hear a story, clap your hands. If you wanna hear a story, then take a seat. If you wanna hear a story, if you wanna hear a story, if if you want to hear a story, take a seat. Yay! All right, friends. Oh, how wonderful, wonderful. Ah, uh, so, do you know where I am right now? Can you guess? I'm actually in the museum right now, and I'm in an exhibit that is really, really cool and very, very special. The exhibit was actually designed, created, and built by the exhibit team right here at Port Discovery. Can you believe that? It's really, really cool. I mean, there's so many wonderful things in here. And I'm so excited to be here to share this story with you. This is a very special exhibit because it's full of all kinds of things that you and your family can play with to learn about all the things that are grown in the state of Maryland. That's right, there are so many things grown in the state of Maryland. Now, there's plants, uh, there's fruits and vegetables, there's flowers like we're gonna be talking about in a few minutes and you see all around us. There's also cows that produce lots and lots of milk for us to drink. And there are chickens, there's chickens that lay eggs that we all love to eat. There's just so many things that are grown all across the state of Maryland. And that's why I thought that this exhibit would be the best place to share what I've been doing all spring and summer long that involves growing. Now, true story, I promise. When I moved to my house and my front yard, that was not one single flower, not one single flower at all in my front yard. So what I did is starting in this past spring and all through this summer, I've been planting flowers by putting seeds in the ground and they've been growing and growing and growing. And you know what I found out? By doing that, it made me feel really, really calm and very, very happy. Now we all know right now we're living in some challenging times. I know that, we all are. And that's why it's really, really important for us all to take the time to do things that make us feel calm because we wanna take care of our minds and our bodies and our spirits. And I, I found that by planting flowers and letting them grow, grow that, that really made me feel really calm. But guess what? It made me feel a part of the seasons of nature, the cycle of nature. So what is that? Well, that's four seasons. Can you name them with me? There's the spring season where all of the flowers come out from the ground. The trees bloom, the birds are singing, the butterflies and the bees come out. It's just a beautiful time of year when the nature raises everything up from the ground and we get to experience all the colors of a rainbow during the springtime. But then there's number two, there's the summer. That's when it's hot. That's when it's just, the sun is shining all the time. And there's some rain that comes down to keep everything growing. But summer is all about experiencing a long, growthful time with all the things that have bloomed in the springtime. There's number three. Number three is the fall. Now the fall is when everything starts to get tired and dry up a little bit and fall to the ground and go down into the ground 
And that's really important because in the fall, when everything is falling down and going into the, to the ground and getting prepared for a winter, all the nutrients are really being soaked up into the soil. So the fall is really important as well. And then oh, there's the winter time, oh, when it's really cold. And that's when everything is down under the earth. Everything is being protected from the cold and the snow. But guess what? It'll be spring again and the whole cycle of nature will start all over again. And that was really important to me to be a part of that whole cycle. So guess what I am going to share with you next? It's the part of the wonderful story. I'm gonna scan right down here. And I'm gonna show you the flowers. Look at these beautiful flowers. Look at that. What colors do you see? Do you see yellow? What color is that? Is it red? No. Is it blue? <laughs> it's orange. Very good. And then look at the stems. What color are the stems? What color are the leaves? They're green. Very good. Oh, green. So do you know what kind of flowers these are that Mr. Ronnie was growing? Do you think they're roses? Lilies? No, it starts with the letter M. Mmm, that's what the M sounds like. Mmm, they're marigolds, yay! They are marigold plants, marigold flowers that I grew in my, in my front yard, and then I take, took them out and I repotted them into these pots so I could bring them to the museum to you, with you today and share them with you. Isn't that so exciting? Now there's something else I'm really excited to share with you. Look at this. What do you think we see there? I want to this a little bit more. What do you see there? What kind of shapes are those? Are they circles? Not really. Are they squares? No, they don't look like squares. They kind of look like little sticks. But guess what? These are marigold seeds. Yes, that's right. These are marigold seeds. And one of these seeds, one of these seeds, when you pot it and plant it, it grows into a flower. Isn't that just amazing? It's just so exciting to me to share that with you. So I want to show you where these seeds came from. So what's going to happen is I'm going to move over and I'm going to show you these. Now these are marigold flowers. And just like I was explaining to you about the cycle of nature, these grew up in my yard tall and beautiful and bloomed and the bees came over to say hello and the butterflies did as well and even the ladybugs did too uh, but then after a while the stem dried out and it fell to the ground but that's a really magical thing that happens because i'm going to take a pair of scissors and i'm going to cut this open like this, and I'm gonna open it up. Look at that, look at that, isn't that amazing? It's, it's dozens and dozens of seeds right there in the marigold flower. So the cycle of nature, what happens is the flower grows up from a seed and grows up from the ground, and then eventually falls back down goes down into the, into the ground, into the soil, and the seeds grow again into new marigold flowers. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Now, one last part of my story that I'm really excited to share with you. We're going to plant our very own marigold right here, right here at Fort Discovery in the Here We Grow exhibit. Now, 
What we're gonna need is we're gonna need three ingredients, okay? We're gonna need three ingredients. The first ingredient we're gonna need is potting soil. Now this is potting soil. Now potting soil is really, really good when you're planting flowers because potting soil has just enough moisture. Moisture means water in the soil and guess what it's also full of nutrients because potting soil is made from lots and lots of flowers and plants and things that have grown in that soil many many seasons ago so potting soil is full of nutrients and that's just a fancy word for a vitamin the vitamins that we take every single day to make our bodies really strong and healthy so what i'm going to do is we're going to plant our seed and we're gonna watch it grow over the weeks to come. So I'm gonna take my potting soil and I'm gonna pour it right inside my red pot, right inside my pot like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have enough potting soil to cover three-fourths of this pot. That's right, three-fourths. Now it's easy to find out with three-fourths because right now I filled it halfway to the top. That's one half. And then I'll have to, all I have to do is fill it another halfway to the top. And that's just a really fun and easy way to make sure we have three fourths of the way full. All right. Now it's really important. You might be asking Mr. Ronnie at home, why is it important to have just three fourths of the way? Why isn't Mr. Ronnie filling it all the way to the top? Well, that's a very good question. And the answer to that is that when you plant your seeds, it's very important that you have enough room to put water into your pot, as well as for your flowers to grow because they get really big. So you gotta have enough wiggle room and playroom for your flowers to have enough room to grow. Next, we are going to plant the seed. Now I want you to take a look at my finger Look at Wiggly, <laughs> it's wiggling right there. The part that's wiggling is really about a half an inch. That's a half an inch on Mr. Ronnie's wiggly finger. And what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna make a little home, make a little hole a half an inch down like that. And then I'm gonna put my marigold seed in. I'm gonna give it a nice little home in the soil and I'm gonna gently put it to bed. Good night, Mr. Marigold Seed. Good night, Miss Marigold Seed. Good night, Marigold Seed. Mr. Ronnie will see you soon. So now we have planted our marigold seed. It's now in its little bed, in the soil, ready for its nutrients. Now we have step number two we have to do. Step number two, We've got to give it a little bit of water, a little bit of water. So we've got, we've got our seed down in. It's now put to bed in its soil with all of its nice vitamins around it. And the next we're going to put just a little bit of water in. Now you don't want to get too much water in there because the nutrients are already in the potting soil. So it's got a lot of moisture in there already. And plus, if you put too much water into the soil right now, it's gonna to turn to mud. Now, I know we all love to play in, in the mud, I do, but seeds don't need the mud. If the mud, is, it would weigh it down into the ground too hard and the soil being muddy, it wouldn't allow the seed to have enough strength to grow, grow up through the soil and sprout, which is called right when it comes out of the ground. So that's what we need. So we've got our seed into the soil. Now we've got it watered. We gotta have the third thing that's very important and that's the sun, absolutely. So I'm gonna take this to a window now that I potted the seed and I'm gonna let it have lots and lots of sun right here on the summer days in Baltimore. And then in about three or four days with enough water enough vitamins in this potting soil and enough sunshine, you're gonna get this, yay! Oh my gosh, look. These are marigolds that have just began to sprout. See, there's three right there. 
coming up to say hello. And again, this is about three days ago when I used seeds from my garden to repot in my pots. And now I'm growing more and more flowers because of the wonderful cycles of nature. Yay! Now, we're gonna keep this pot around in the sun by our window. And the next time Mr. Ronnie comes back to talk with you and play with you and share stories with you again, I'll show you how tall the marigold that we planted together was today. I'll show you how it's grown. So you can come back in a future Tuesday and we'll be able to see this marigold that we planted together. Isn't it so exciting? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This has just been so much fun, so much fun. But before we say goodbye, I want to tell you that you don't have to have a garden or a front yard to grow your flowers. You can do what we're doing. You can put them in a pot and you can put them in your kitchen window and that can be your garden for your family. You can also put them in your bedroom window and you can have your own private garden. Oh wow, that's great. Oh my goodness. If we're not finished yet because Mr. Ronnie has a huge surprise for you right here in the exhibit. Haven't we had enough fun already? And now there's even another surprise. I have a best friend from Port Discovery that I want to introduce to you. He's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful friend. And I have to make sure that you become friends with, his, with him. So, give me one second and let me go get him. Let me go get him. He's here. Friends, I want you to meet my friend, Buzz! Oh, hi, hi, Buzz, hi, Buzz. You wanna say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody, I'm Buzz. Oh, Buzz, I was so excited to have you. This is a great exhibit. I really like it a lot. I know it's all about the things that we've been growing in Baltimore in the state of Maryland. Oh, oh my goodness. So, I am really excited for you to become friends with Buzz. And here's how we're gonna come friends together through the Tuesdays to come. Buzz and I are gonna be playing all through Port Discovery Museum. We're gonna pick exhibits and we're gonna play with them and share them and play with you right here, right here together on future Tuesdays. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I'm so excited. This is so wonderful. Oh, you know what? It has been an absolute joy pl playing with you and sharing my story about all the things that I've been growing. It's been such a pleasure playing with you in the Here We Grow exhibit and the museum itself. Again, my name is Mr. Ronnie and I'm the Associate Director of Guest Services right here at Port Discovery Museum in Baltimore. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much. We will see you again very soon. And this is a very, important thing before we say goodbye okay and this includes my adult friends out there as well please remember please remember take time to enjoy the discovery and power of play bye everybody bye bye, bye.